me just over here quick. Come, come. Fuck, it feels good being fucking fit. Welcome to the vlog. Let's get a little bit of gas up here, not some a bit of a squirt. People are too scared to breathe, aren't they? I see runners every day, or riders every day. Their mouth shut. You ain't ever gonna get fucking lean with your mouth shut. You ain't even got fit. Unless you're breathing like a fucking monster. Fat burns in the flame of carbohydrate and fat leaves the body by carbon dioxide. So you gotta breathe if you wanna get lean. Anyway, welcome to the vlog. Whew. Norton Summer, Adelaide. Just had a cup of water this morning for breakfast. Got a couple of uh, cliff blocks in my back pocket. So I ride no hands. Got two of these for breakfast. Just pure refined sugar. Sugar makes you fat. Crazy shit. And people say, oh, but it's the cycling you do, Harley. Cycling keeps you lean. It's like, what about all the pro riders who battle with their weight? Yeah, 90% of the women's pro cycling is sort of a bit tubby, according to their coaches. So, it ain't exercise, it's all about nutrition. You can't out train a bad diet. The fat you eat is the fat you wear, like it or not. And so last night, I had a bit of a late night. Woke up this morning feeling a bit tired. And bang, no stims, no stims. That's, that's the mistake people make is they wake up tired, like, oh, I'm gonna have some stims. If you're tired, the worst thing you can have is stimulants. Unless you're doing like a 24 hour race or something. Never take stimulants if you're tired. Take stimulants because you're flying and you're only the extra 1%. Never take stimulants because you're tired. That is like the worst thing for your adrenals, worst thing for everything, thyroid, etc. So full natty bra, be as natural as possible. Regarding stimulants, no green tea, no caffeine, no Adderall, no Ritalin, no etc, etc, etc. Only use any of these things, if you'd ever do, in extreme responsibility, in extreme moderation, and never because you're tired. Unless maybe it's in like a race format, okay? Get your water, get your sugars, get your sleep, get your positive attitude. It's the best drug. And music. Use music. So out right up North Summer, we've got Steve here from Brisbane. You've been riding for about 25 years, and you're... First time in Adelaide, what do you think? Oh, absolutely superb. Best riding I've ever done, to be honest. Yeah. Great beaches, great roads. Traffic is generally pretty friendly. Yeah. All the cyclists are friendly. Yeah. Great atmosphere, great vibe. Just, yeah, it's relaxed. Nice, so you brought the Willier down? Oh, of course, the Willier. Very good. Nice, yeah. nice colour. Look at the fluoro approved. But, uh, yeah, so. You gotta, you gotta be visible. You gotta be visible, people. Yeah. Trust me, I know. I've had a broken neck. <laughs> now, Steve's got big background in cycling, so he can get you on that high carb vegan yep. wagon. If you're permanent, you'll, you'll fucking lean up. You'll be a fucking hitter. Yeah. Cause you got that cycling experience, so. I'm up probably 80 kilo at the moment. Yeah, high Should carb be down vegan. 65, probably lower. Probably, I'd say, if you eat like me, you'd probably be 55 kilo in due time, and yeah. you'd be like fucking Quintana. Smashing it up the fucking clients. We'll get there, we'll get there. Yeah, definitely. We'll get there. Easy. So that's the ride done, just easy social ride. Uh, met up with Max, who was up there, Steve was up there, and uh, met a guy from England who just moved into Adelaide, Andy. I'm gonna check him on to SLR. And uh, so yeah, just cruising around. Better go home now, get some food. Not sure what fruit is left though, so might have some cereal. We'll see what we've got. Right, so this is the fridge. I've got a bit of soft drink, I can have that. A bit of sugar in there. I've got uh, some tofurkey hot dogs. I don't want to have that this, this time. I'll put them on the rice. Got onions for the cats. Got some more soft drink in there. Mustard. And uh, some stuff like here, so. It's the EPO down there. Um, and uh, that's how much avocado I eat. Goes sort of off, put it up there. What's this in here? There's a cat, and some pussy down there. Some mints, I should probably get eaten pretty soon. So yeah, 
the vegan mince is what we feed the cats. We love it. So, yeah, I'm gonna go get some fruit. Here's a bit of juice. Schnitzel, this is Schnitzel's banana. This is a good one, this is some coals, 75 cents. No artificial colors, flavors. Uh, suitable for vegans, it even says on the thing. Uh, where is it? The suitable for vegans. So, there you go, a bit of preservative. Keep your health in your grave. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people were like, oh, woo, 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 you can't drink that. And so that's why they're never fit and they're going back to meat and stuff. I mean, the amount of vegans, I'm going to snorkel this thing. Ah, chocolate, bro. The amount of vegans out there, like, you know, like, I call them, don't I? I call out Bonnie or the, the you know, go meet Gitas, etc. And you see them, you can predict what's going to happen to them. Once they get sugar phobic, I can't do sugar, do you know it's not nice? Then it's like three, two, one, steak burger. You know, it's every single time. They get scared of sugar, they get scared of daddy, and then they're going back where they came from. They crawl them back under the rock they crawled from. So yeah, get your sugars in, get your fruits in, get your starches in, whatever it takes to stay fucking carved up. No more teenage, 13 year old, orthorexic, anorexic diets. Carb up, do your best you can. Never get hungry. I always get hangry, you get space skiddy, you get flighty, you get flaky. I think we just called another cat. There you go. So you just carb the fuck up, mate. Carb the fuck up. This is Angry Vegan's tent. And uh, this is a little bit of, this is a little trap we've got set up there. So try and catch some more pussy. And there's the old Epic, the, the 12,000 bottle bite that can't be ridden. And it's been alright though, it's a good clothes rack. It's a good clothes rack. S works clothes rack. But yeah, definitely the the brain 2.0. Do not have a double thumbs down. The shock just keeps leaking air. It's the uh, third shock I've got in it. So I, I can't even sell this bike. Uh, so I've got to call specialized again and work out what we can do. But uh, yeah, great bike otherwise. But just the suspension design very very poor. I should I should have got a hard tail. I should have got a hard tail. And this is a little schnitzel puss. Well. A little schnitzel. Oh, he's a cute little cat. He definitely enjoys sucking on your nipples or your little, your little thumb. Look at Natasha down there. She's got some more. There you go. 20 year old mum. Gave her two kids already. Got the second reversed. Got responsibility there. A little puss. A little pusses. He's just this, this little cat here. He's just so adorable. He's just got the best little heart, best little personality. And that's his sister, BB. She's a bit more frisky. She's a bit like a little pretentious Instagram whore. No, she's not. <laughs> yeah, it's to me. She's a sweet baby. Yeah, she's got, she's you got, just don't understand women. She's got potential to turn. I wish, I wish I could show her an Instagram account and start making videos about this at some point. A oh, little face. And this is my cupboard. Um, we have vegan fruit chocks. We have the corn fins. Got some cereal, some rock sugar, some beans. Fuck is that? It's a big spider. Um, we've got organic pus, the spiders. Jesus Christ, the spiders are right here. It's another spider. We've got, I'm not sure what that is. Um, we've got baked beans. We've got a, a little house spider in there with an egg sack. So this is the fly control unit in here. And that'll good to go. And this is a good bread if you live in Australia. The Coles High Fiber White Sandwich Loaf. This is $2.30, goes good. This is a bread as well, it's not bad. This is the uh, sourdough in Maiden Sonoma, California. They ship it over to Australia every morning. And uh, is a vegan sourdough, quite low in fat as well. I saw that at Woolworths. I saw that at Woolworths. So you have two good options there. You get sourdough or your traditional Coles High Fiber White. Both low fat. This is a 99 cent fat free mayonnaise. If you're in Australia, praise. So yeah, this is again, this is why I'm a successful vegan, is because I don't eat these orthorexic potatoes and carrot diet. You know, I have right in my, in my lifestyle, vegan lifestyle. So it's very, very easy for me to stay vegan. That's why I'm successful. And these other flakes out there, they're only vegan for the money, and they flake out on their followers. They give them hundreds of thousands of dollars. They flake out on them. But you, you never see doing on a flake out. This is how it is, mate. This is how it is for life. I live a life behind bars, and I live a life behind vegan.
filming. So today is this is the last day of the TCR. The seat post got a bit of a crack in it and it's a bit unsafe to ride you ride it much more, could fail any time. So just say it's been a great bike, it's been a fantastic bike, I really enjoyed it. Uh, giant said no to the warranty initially, but then they've said now we'll give you hardly warranty frame, so thanks for that. Definitely sold thousands of giants over the years. Uh, so it's good to get a bit of support as well when you need it. But yeah, so they sent me out a medium large. Um, there's no mediums in stock, which I wanted to get medium. A bit more of an aggressive setup. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. And so yeah, so uh, I love this bike. It's very comfortable, but it's a little bit too upright for me. I want to get more of a slammed, slammed position for a bit more of a Strava bike. But this has been a fantastic, you know, ultra all day bike it's been really good it's done a really good good time i just wish i think giant should get rid of the uh isp and just go over the 27.2 seat post and direct mount brakes i think that'd be a crush it the overdrive steerer i love it yeah, yeah. Fresh OJ, through that Nord. My favourite cereal in a box would be Kellogg's Sustain. It's very, very low fat. Uh, yeah, so that's, this is a good one. Another one. Another cluster Sultana brand. The Sultana brand buds, no, it has dairy in it, so it's a good weight gainer food. Um, so this, these are in, in any Aussie supermarket, you got these two. You got wheat mix as well. But if you're uh, sustains a really good one, fine. Definitely get your mix going. And, uh, yeah. I dropped the camera. It's filming now. Okay. So what? What? When did you stop filming? Like three seconds ago. Okay. So yeah, try a sustain. If you had sustain, do you like it? What do you think about it? Cornflakes works as good as well. So does just rice, just rice with soy milk and low fat soy milk and sugar. Again, if you're really lean, you don't have to worry too much about fat intake. Make sure you get a carb. But if you're overweight, you want to lean up, be militant with fat intake. Militant with it. This juice is pretty good as well. The blueberry one. It's so cold. So here in the supermarket, this stuff here, this, if, you want, if you want man boobs, bitch tits like Isaac Butterfield, this is Isaac Butterfield fuel. Uh, this is the cheesy troops. This is Isaac Butterfield, he's facing me on this next week. And how um, much fat is in them along with 30, the dairy? 37 grams of fat. So you got your fat, but you also got your lot. dairy hormones. So I give those man boobs a lot of estrogen. So me being a proud soy boy, I just got pecs. No man boobs, which is fine. If you, you like Isaac Butterfield, you have a little 10A bra on you, that's fine. Um, no, no, no hate there. But it's got cheese and it's got whey, so it's a big bulking food to get man boobs like Isaac Butterfield. Uh, these are actually vegan. These are vegan, so they're a little bit fatty as well. But there's no dairy in there, and so there's no estrogen in there. So if you like, want to have a flat chest, if you want a Bruce Lee soy boy chest, go with these more than your dairy stuff. Uh, rice is better because rice is low as fat, so it's going to be better. But this is, I'm just giving people some junk food options here. You and Coles. If you want some, you know, some sort of junk food, your kids at a party, okay, we'll give some options. And these are chill, chill chips. My favourite, those ones. Natasha's favourite. And you've also got a Red Rock Deli. And? Special Reserve. Sea Salt and Black Truffle. So Isaac Butterfield, 
let's let's get Isaac Butterfield in shape. Let's get the Bruce Lee's body for Isaac, and uh, get him on the uh, the vegan chips. So the um, these ones here have 37 grams of fat per hundred, and yeah. these ones have 23. Yeah, so you're gonna get less fat, and also you've got the dairy, so it's gonna give you estrogen, big estrogen man boobies. These ones, Isaac Butterfield style. Less oil and no dairy. There we go. There we go. So, so yeah, it's got the backpack on, and uh, I think we can go right here, baby. Got the backpack on, cruising around. But the bikes, is just like no parking worries, just block up at the front, save on fuel, it's the fastest way to get around the shops. Then you, when you park at home, it's easy. So convenient, and it saves so much money. And it's, Natasha's got more money in the life than she's ever had before, just from saving it. Adelaide lifestyle, high carb, vegan, simple living, YouTube digital nomad. That's right. Jump with the plane, go anywhere in the world you want. And uh, not many 20 year olds have that freedom. And not, even less 41 year olds have that freedom. So, create it, create it. And because this juice has got no calories in it, I want to add some carbohydrate to it. So, trying to drop this for one handed. Actually, I might do this with two hands. You get the picture. There's a spoon so you can sort of see what I'm, what I'm getting at here. This is organic sugar. Just I, like, I really like the taste. I'll use any sugar, but I do prefer the organic one. Do what you can to get organic when you can. So, I'm not sure. Give it for 10, 3, 4. This is, you know, this is a reason why so many those fucking space cadet vegans, though, they're vegan for a little bit and then they're just like, oh, I can't do this anymore. I said they're really tough. I'm just trying to live on orange juice and a bit of kale greens. It's like no wonder they're failing. I want to give people the truth, the options. If you want to be a dominating vegan athlete, then don't be scared of fried sugars, otherwise you'll be fucking low. If you're a guy, you have really low testosterone. Could you be eating like a teenage girl? And if you're a girl, you're just gonna be a nut job. No guy's gonna wanna hang out very often because you you emotionally, you know, crazy all the time. It's okay to be crazy some of the time, but when you're crazy all the time because you're hangry, then you'll be on your own pretty quick. No one quality is gonna go hang out with you if you're undercarved. There we go. Just last few granules. Give it a good shake. And that's the real we'll drink. Give it a good shake. Get that glucose, fructose. Glucose and fructose, that's the two most important nutrients for humans. Glucose and fructose, that's your performance. Your sperm cells are on a fructose, your brain cells are on a glucose. Glucose and fructose, most important things ever. So get a bit of fruit. If you can't find good quality, high quality fruit, then get it from adding sugars to it. Otherwise, you're just not gonna get enough. And if you get enough brain fuel, you've got all these ex-vegans, I'm not a vegan anymore, I'm not a basic that, or just like these people who have no fitness. How do people have no fitness today? I'm trying to open this bottle and not spill it everywhere. Seriously, how do people not have fitness? I'm 41 and I'm flogging 20 year olds every day on the bike. Mm. That's good, that's sweet. Now we're talking. That's a fucking meal, all right? It's probably a thousand calories at least now. Probably at least 100 grams of sugar in there, plus the OJ, so. Mm. That's what's gonna keep you going. You're gonna have sustenance. Otherwise, again, you'll be like a space cadet. Space Cadet Jump Cut Vegan. Um, don't be one of those. The world doesn't need any more Space Cadet fucking undercarb, low testosterone eh, vegans, do they? There's enough out there. Tim Sheaf. Got a little banana as well. You know, software, let's use iMovie. iMovie's the fastest, it's free. It's faster than Final Cut Pro. And uh, so yeah, I don't use Final Cut Pro anymore. Use iMovie. Works really good. It's free. It's faster than Flywheel Cut. This is, this is the fastest rendering program you can get with iMovie. It's crazy. These are really quite low sugar. Natasha warned me not to get them, but I thought I'll try them anyway. But they are. There's no flavor. There's no sugar in that. There's no calories. It's just like, there's no carb calories. It's just, yeah. I won't ever buy them again. No, not, enough, not sweet enough. And all my plastic wrappers all go in here. Go back to recycling. Adds up over time. Crazy how much plastic we all ever want to use this pretty much, yeah? Imagine if big families and stuff, most people just chuck it in the bin. Recycle, recycle, recycle. Do what, what? So I'm having four of these. Four. 
four. How did the disc brakes feel, Natasha? Uh, they're actually not squealing today. Yeah. Or so I think. They're very temperamental disc brakes. They are. On road bikes, are fine. Um. Yeah. Oh, we've got foggies. Going to the fog here. I definitely, like definitely find disc brakes on the road bike. Um, yeah, in the wet weather for sure, but for Adelaide, nah. I'm giving them a disc brake bikes. I've got a hidden just over here. Quick, come, come. Very, very sharp. And what they do is they dig in. They dig themselves right in, and they puff their, they puff their spines up to try and pin pin into you. I won't aggress him too much, but uh, let's see if I can show you for the camera. He's got his little claws, dug him in. I'll see if we can get him out for you, for the, for the people who've never seen the echidna. Come on, little buddy. I think he's going to be a little bit too... Nah, I, I'm going to have to be too aggressive with him. But that's an echidna. <laughs> and they dig and eat ants. <laughs> yeah. If we stand still, it'll... Uh, Uncover. Ma, Time to crack open some magnums. We're at a Moriata Gorge. Here's a koala. Well, that's just a uh, Voila. Listen to the brakes. Listen to the brakes. I don't mind that noise. That's just on and off. Dis disc brakes. Even the World Tour riders I've ridden with disc brakes. They that happens as well. So if your brakes are noisy, that's just part of the deal. If they rub. Sometimes and sometimes they don't, that's part of the deal. People say, just get them adjusted properly. It's like, well, if the World Tour Pro teams can't get it done properly, and the local shops who have really got really good mechanics can't, then that's just how disc brakes are. Go to any World Cup race, and you'll hear disc brakes rubbing and noising and stuff like that, especially on the road bikes. It's getting dark. I almost got cleaned up by kangaroos then. There's about three kangaroos bouncing in front of me. I wish I got that on camera. Wow. Good thing I wasn't going down too quick. Get the cats to clean, spit it of rice there, and then the cats eat it up. There you go, yeah. Schnitzel, schnitty, schnitz. There you go, get the cats to lick it all clean. Schnitzy, yeah. Little face. There you go. Yeah, little face. There you go. They love it. Keep it hungry, keep them clean, keep them lean. Keep them lean, it keeps the house clean. All busy cats. <laughs> cleaning that, that's it, lick that stove top clean kids, good kids, good little kids. So we do it here, get the feral cats to clean your stove top. <laughs> for dinner I'm going to have white rice, it's organic white rice, I just prefer the taste of organic, if I can get it, if I can get it, that's a decent serve. Let's have that, a bit of soy sauce, and a bit of wild greens on top, beautiful. These guys are so hungry. They'll eat anything. They'll eat anything. Very soft skin. So we'll cook them up one day. Feed them up, give them a good home, give, give them a good life. And then uh, cook them up. Happy, happy meat. Happy meat. Alright, so rice is done. Belly's nice and full. And we'll have some chips. Just so I'm getting a little bit. You sort of see my body fat's quite low. When you see when you see your veins like that, you see your veins popping, then you know your body fat's pretty low, so you can afford a bit more. I don't want to be too lean. It's gonna be a big year, so eat a bit, eat a few bit of bit of fat to give a pump on him. The cats are back again. Jesus. Of they love capsicum. They can't get enough. Come on, kids. You want some? Yes. They love it. Vegan veggie cat.
And we've got some, got some salad here. A little bit of salad appetizer. So we just heard the trap go off. Go watch out for snakes. So we've got brown snakes around here. Oh, it's a lizard. The lizard set the trap off. <laughs> Come on. So a blue, it's a dolzy blue tongue lizard. Here we go. Can I, can I catch some traps and cats here, buddy? Yeah, keep going down there. Look at my sleep. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I must be hungry. One, two, three. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye.